Hey, Grazer on here, and we're going to be playing some uh, Alan Wake tonight. Um, Alan Wake, story about a struggling writer, horror writer, I think, on his great vacation with his wife to Washington State. I'm going to be honest, Washington State wouldn't be a place I'd think to go for a vacation. No offense to anyone from Washington, but um, I'm from Vancouver. Vancouver, Canada, so, I mean, it's not that far away, but, eh, probably great views, but the temperature-wise, I, I, I'm i more prone to thinking that, you know, a popular vacation spots would be warmer climates. <laughs> anyway, game came out back in, like, 2010, something like that, on uh, consoles, 7th seventh, seventh generation consoles, like, feels like, uh, <laughs> feels like years ago, but, uh, yeah, I watched a friend play here and there, but, uh, I decided just to get around to recording it. I don't know. It's kind of that time of year. Got got to have some uh, fluff. So I haven't played much into the game personally. Uh, it only says continue because I was testing my settings. So uh, we'll, we're gonna dive just we're gonna just dive right in. Well, let's just do normal. I don't need it easy. It's supposed to be a bunch of scary stuff. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. What about Dean Coons? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Yeah, good luck with that. In this economy. Yeah, I've the themes of darkness. Imagination. But this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Sound like Stephen King, man. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. What was he doing standing there? Like, seriously. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Hitchhiking in the middle of the street? He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Don't worry, she can run Umbrella Corp by herself. Blah. Inception. Because, you know, a dream within a dream. Suddenly, his body was gone. Episodic I chapters. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Alright, so tab should be switched shoulders. No, I don't want that. Uh, I have my settings set so that... I always have it set so my sensitivity just one Okay, so it has acceleration. Can I remove that? There will not be acceleration. Nah. What's direct aiming? I'll have to try that. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, but I usually have my, my mouse setting set so that one full swipe to the edge of my uh, mouse pad would be uh, a full 360 or 180. But, uh, whoops. Trying to hold sprint and then ho holding tab to switch shoulders, which, as nice as it is, as it is, brings up my steam overlay. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Probably Booker DeWitt. Am I missing? The light. Oh god. Oh, don't be vindictive, man. Don't be vindictive. Oh you no. Recognize me, do you, uh no, I don't. You think you're god? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama. QR code, save me. You 
missed your deadline. Uh, Damn. Yeah. You can't dodge. Stop me. Try dodge the attack. What? I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. <laughs> Kick the bucket. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Sounds like. Oh god. Underlay, underlay, we touch this underlay. Ah. Let's get out of here. Yeah, if I had a nightmare like this, holy shit. This way, this way. I got you, man. I got you. I'm coming. Hurry. The hell you think I'm doing? Gonna ask me a question. Stop. Don't, don't, don't let him say anything. No! Oh, damn it, die! No! 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 You're firing from the hip. Uh. I see you in the window. I was trapped. There was no way out. Hurry! Save me, chair. Rocking chair. Nice metronome. <laughs> it's infectious. The laughing is infectious. Look, sir, I don't like her TV show. Oh god. Was a death trap. I had to get out. Oh god. Oh no. It's no longer trying to stop the door. The door is no longer being held closed. Oh god. Go to the light. Hey look, it's Futurama. Oh god. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Go into the light? That sounds that sounds like the opposite of what I want to do. Like I'm near death, I want to go to the light? I, I don't know. That's just me. What am I, part plant photosynthesis here? Oh god. Ah! <laughs> I have something important to tell you. Hopefully it's it something. like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? Henry David Thoreau? Oh. Follow my light. Thank you, magical I sunlight. You coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. Get all the ammo. Hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Can I make him more vulnerable by talking about his history? I mean, I did create him, right? Up the flashlight. No, I'm gonna talk. What if what if I made fun of his past? What if I fabricate his past? What if he's only angry because you only know his ex-wife left him? Ah! Well, why aren't you driving him away, huh? You're light. You're standing your happy ass over there. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Sounds like an allegory. Oh. You did it. Yay. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. That's so weird. So my sensitivity when I turn... Pick up the revolver. 
I like how his echo resounds. Um, give me a second, sir. There you go. So now I could just turn my head. It's still fast. When I first set this up, it was it was going fine. Now it's just. He is your enemy. You need to. Oh my God. Yourself. I mind like I mind like the limbo zone where my sensitivity is just like annoying. <laughs> like it you won't. There you go. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. Yeah, that there's all. I will give you back your dream now. No, oh, thank you. Is that a Stephen King for me? In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Forgot there's no real reticle. You aim with the flashlight. <clears throat> it sucks, though, because you have to kind of right-click to a... Yeah, you kind of have to right-click to aim. But, uh... Yeah, you can't... It boosts your flashlight in the process, which, uh, wears it down quicker. You made me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Come on, headshots don't work. Okay, so the the ammo count uh, tallies the entirety. Oh god, the entirety that you have on your weapon. Oh shit! Duck it! Duck it! Duck! Ah! Yeah, I died in the tutorial. Nice. He fell. Sir, you okay? Sir. Sir. Don't lurk. Sir. Does it even matter where I hit them? Because it doesn't seem like it's doing much damage regardless. Like, I'm aiming for the face for a reason. Run to the light. Run to the light. Run to the light. Okay, so I can switch. It says hit one, hit. Uh -huh. All right. Wait, before you tell me that I'm dead. I thought I I thought I rebinded that. Uh, boost flashlight. Select pistol. Select to handle weapon. Oh, okay. So just, I guess I like using my my thumb buttons on my mouse to switch weapons. It's a habit I tried making, but uh, I can only scroll now. He's a launcher. Yeah. So the flare gun's like the the grenade launcher of the game. Can I loot their bodies? I've been playing a lot of games that have looting. So, you know. Die. No, I don't want to. I want to live. In the light. I can keep this up. I don't know. I, I have a feeling you'll run out of shit to throw around. Dude, the darkness is OP, yo. Huh, thanks for that. Hurry your ass up, Alan. This wall is like coming after you. Come on. Oh god. Come on. Ah. Yeah, 
Yeah, darkness has definitely befallen us. Epic musical score! Oh, that's no bueno. That ain't kosher. That ain't good. Thanks for letting me know. Wake up. Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. We're not here, we're still in the ferry. Dumb bitch. Right falls. Seems a bit gloomy and foggy to be honest. Look at all those buoys. A humble small town where everyone knows each other's name. Let's see. I have a lot of gro uh, groceries. Go stand next to I have that a lot of uh, luggage. A shot of you with the town in the <laughs> sure. Lincoln? I'll even give you a title for the shot. A Product sequel. placement. Before he got eaten by a bear. I don't even have numbers on my license plate. I guess I'm from Washington. This truck doesn't have a license uh, stuff on license plate either. It has blood in it, though. This guy must have been hunting. Uh... Throwing old Ford. Alan, before he missed the shot. Hey, I hit a guy with this in, in the dream. In the dream. Damn, yuppies. Fuck you, man. So, retransporting plywood too? Two by fours? Uh, please turn off your engine and put your car in park. I'm gonna put it in neutral, but but I'm gonna have the handbrake on. Because I'm that kind of guy. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Look at my elbow you pads. You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying it. I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. We're in Washington, yeah, not Maine. I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but... I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Just the two Fair of enough. us. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Look at this. Chain physics. Chain physics 2015. <laughs> Not bad. Game looks looks nice for a five year old game. Still to say. Let's see how bad it screws with my capture. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. So you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah. Hey bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. How much yeah. you want to bet like we ninety percent of the luggage in the car is hers? I like how there's also a seat free. Like, they didn't bother to distribute. As if we had a kid with us at one point. <gasps> a twist. Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. You know the ferry just Mary stopped about I can 30 feet from where I need to go. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Talk about gameplay segregation, seriously. Like, look at this. I am like 10 meters away from the, from the dock. The assholes aren't gonna, you know, let me do anything about that. 
We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Oh, look. Sure. Sync from Microsoft. Product placement. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. But little did he know he'll never see her again. Oh no. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm oh, you. Why don't you like me on Facebook or something? Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Yeah, she also has like she also has one uh the coffee. a cutout Just of me at, me at her house. Fall in love, Cause it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Shouldn't go to Starbucks then. Nah, I'm not a coffee person myself. Staying long, Mr. Wake. I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Bitch, you're also breathing my air, so shut up. <laughs> Just be all like a stuck up, uh, a completely stuck up, chode bunch of a writer. Sonny, I could really use a tune right now. All right, Mr. Open Pirate Biker. Up. Number six in the jukebox. I guess I can do I that. I do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Then wake them up. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's concerning. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it. Are you that. holding a light? I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Yeah, this ain't creepy at all. Hello? Mr. Stucky? No, oh, Carl God. couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. She gonna mug me? Oh, look, she's no longer dark and black and creepy, but she she is just wearing all black and still creepy. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Yeah, your eloquence is a bit concerning. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Uh... Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <coughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bye, Mr. Wake. Goodbye, over here, eager Sam. Fan. Sorry, I don't want to say Sam. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. I saw these in a dream. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Yeah, that's not concerning. Real nut house. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder how different the game would have been if I actually took his keys. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay. 
Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Writer's block. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Copyright. Nothing I can do about that. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. Looks like a something, all right. Looks like a tactical nightmare. Don't worry, about it. choke point. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. Oh, that's not I good. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Phobias are kind of it kind of sucks for the people that have them, you know? I mean, even sometimes when they know it's it's uh it's a bit crazy to have such fears, but Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? Collectible. Okay, so doing that, I see. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Is it July? The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. I don't know, given the stuff in here, probably probably the 50s. Is there a, even a fridge in here? Yeah, because refrigeration... The power cable goes to that shed over there. Refrigeration is a, is a thing that is fairly young. What am I looking for? An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Hit E. Echo. I'll look around a bit. The island sure had once been the Come site on. for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Oh yeah, cut me off. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. You thought. It's, it's quite a beautiful, beautiful sunset. <laughs> 